Welcome everyone. Coloring session one for Rose, which is actually called Essence. If you look down at the bottom here, um, she's titled Essence in my book and Rose on uh, my Etsy page. So I'm not sure when the switch happened, um, but that's her. She's from Dance Dreams Coloring Book Volume 1 by Christine Ijak, which is me. And she's the freebie for this week. Now, I've colored her a few times before, um, but I'm not going to share the finished one with you right now because I don't want you to get anxious or nervous. This is about having fun. Um, feel free to choose other colors. You don't have to pick the colors that I pick. Um, I'm here to kind of just guide you through the lines and um, show you some neat tricks to create some dimension within the picture. And um, let's get started. I'm going to actually make her more uh, red than anything. So um, I'm gonna pick a red color. I'm gonna get myself a test page. So it's good to have um, a piece of paper underneath the page that you're coloring. And also um, a little test paper next to you. And let's see if I have one under here I can use. I think I do. Okay, so what you wanna do is like, say I have this color pencil here. I'm using the Colore set for this one. Um, number 842. So I'm gonna go like this, press really hard, and then work on getting it a gradual soft. Now I like a line is fine. Some people have like little blocks and they color the whole block. And then I'm gonna write 842 with the C so that I know that that's a Colori pencil and I'm gonna be using this um, for the rose. And you can also test a couple other ones and see. So like this other red that here, I actually like that one better. That's more of a cherry red. That's number 841. And then if I go over to my Crayola set, um, a little bit more watermelony, and this is the Crayola red. Okay, so um, you can get some ideas. I think I am gonna use the 841 because I like that cherry, cherry red. Uh, today we're listening to a CD, Music for a Stress-Free Day. Uh, William Elwood is the guitarist. And I'm going to get ready. I'm drinking a new tea today. Um, it's very interesting. It's like some kind of mint. Um, it's got a really weird name. I got it in the ethnic foods aisle at um, the giant grocery store. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get it so you can see what that bag looks like. So anyway, all right, so let's start from the center and work out. So I'm going to press dark here. Now I want it to look like her dress has, um, you know, it's like rounded. So I'm going to go darker here. So you can see where there's a couple like where I, um, I'm gonna smooth it out, I don't know how to say it, where the lines were meeting um, to create a smoother. Now these pencils create like a pastel texture. Um, your pencils might not do that. So if I press softly, I get this kind of like a crayon-y kind of look, which, which I don't mind. So I'm pressing harder and softer. And it's good if you kind of go over the one you just did so you don't get um, lines where the transitions are, the blending. So 
I'm going to try to leave a really light center if I can do it without creating a line. Um, but we'll probably be putting another color in the center there. Okay, so then I'm going to do the same thing with this one dark and then the light. another um, fold here. So uh, this, this coloring page is one of the few I've done that's symmetrical. Um, so as we do one side we'll also jump over and do the other side. Now if you want to get really creative um, you can make both sides different. Um, there's no reason why this petal flower can't go red to pink or um, yeah so if you want to try out different colored pencils and not worry so much about that symmetricality go for it be doing this same technique for this whole inner skirt or inner petal of her. I really want it to look like these two are behind. So I'm gonna make them darker, the corners there.
So um, now I'm going to find a color um, to use in those other areas. And I'm going to try a pink. So I'm gonna get out my little tester sheet. So I don't think that one is, is far enough away. We have to go even like a brighter orange yellow. Let's try this one. That's no. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna try it up here and see if I like it. I think I will. But yeah. You could have gone the pinky root. Kind of wanted a little bit of fire in this rose, rosy flower. happening which I like. Very light, very light up there. because I want this part right about here to be like the brightest. So I go really lightly. I might even put a yellow in there eventually.
trying to leave like a teardrop kind of shape in there. Oh, I think it worked. Okay, so now I'm going to get a, a yellow. circular here. I can try to catch some in here, but I don't know if we'll be able to cover that in pretty decent. There we go. Alright. Now, um, these dots, uh, I really want to make them teal. Um, because I think the contrast would be really cool in there. Um, feel free to do whatever you want. I'm gonna use like a lightish blue. It's one of my favorite um, contrasts is orange with the blue like that. I think it looks so cool. It has a vibration to it. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Mm -hmm. I was like, did I miss a dot? shell underneath her and I think I'm going to do actually with yellows and uh, golden so I'm gonna go here first I'm just gonna put pretty solid but I'd say like medium pressure not too light not too hard because I want to um, layer some things on top of this so. like Venus coming from a seashell. Same blue. Don't 
ask me why. It's just calling to me. And I'm going to use what they call a ribbon technique here. So you start dark and go light. And then you would start dark and say like here in the shadow and go light there. So it's, it has like a ripple look to it. So I'll be able to go dark here. And I'm just making like a circle with my pencil. And deciding where I want, uh, I think a shadow here would make sense in the ribbon. There it is. It's just little circles with my pencil. So it's darker, lighter, darker in here, lighter. and look like it's um, kind of rolling. And I think I'm also going to take the same color. I'm going to go in here. Pretty dark because I want it to look like it curled in there. to um, start the next set and I'll just do one side and then uh, maybe you can do the other side on your own um, if you don't mind because then we'll be able to get this one done in fewer sessions I think unless you want to color with me so um, let me make sure I'm in the right color oh I don't remember which one I picked sure about where to do your shading you can always start like with a whole coverage here I'll show you so I'm going to cover the whole thing and this is less than 50% um, pressure I would say that I just did there and this is going to go under here trying to just make a nice smooth base color. decide where I want to put those darker lines or the darker shading so I think against this one here Your technique than doing the shading, you know, all at once. With the, your pressure, so instead we're kind of building up rather than pressing harder as we go, you know. It's, although I am pressing kind of hard right now to get into those little crevices right there. I want that to be darker. these little seedling drops and I think I'm also going 
going to um, go over that line with my red. Um, if you've been coloring with me before, I've talked about um, my coloring pages have a grayscale. The lines aren't all black because I wanted you to be able to um, kind of paint them with your crayon, uh, crayons or pencils so that the lines would disappear. And then some lines I left black because I thought it would help with the with um, definition of like what's coming forward and what's going back in the in the design. A little bit underneath this, a little bit of a shade, a little darker in that corner, a little darker under this everywhere there's a little crevice okay so now um, we had taken then an orange color and I'm going very lightly because I want to put some yellow highlights in here yet you're not sure it's always better to press lightly because then you, if you had to you could erase but um, then you can make more choices as you go along if you start pressing really hard and you're not sure you might be stuck with a color that you're not that excited about or no way to add um, add gradients you know of different colors on top because you'll already be so intense with one color and then we took the yellow. We'll go just right here in between. A little bit of sunshine. Maybe right here. That's it. I think it's good. And um, we're going to go uh, with that same um, green that I used here. Pressing pretty hard, leaving a little bit, a little bit for the yellow. So watch, I'm gonna go in here. Just touch that like that. Um, you could also put the whole yellow down first if you wanted, and then so I'm doing kind of one half of that. If my pencil was a little sharper, that probably would have.
these little things. I'm going to make them yellow. There's no right way. Um, there's only your way. <laughs> so I, I like the way that came out, but I feel like I still need a little bit of something else in there. Mm. I have a green that's even a little bit lighter. Because then it'll kind of, um, so I'm doing the ribbon effect. Oh, we got lighter. This one's a little bit harder to do that with, though. But um, just so it's not completely even. So I do darker and lighter. my fuchsia pencil is and I'm going to try to um, pull out a little bit of this edge here now yeah, that worked still wanted it to be a little bit darker let's try um, this is that deep magic blue, that midnight blue that I use. So it's going to put a, sometimes I wait for the end for this, but in case you don't watch me all the way through, I want to make sure you see how fun this is. So you see, very lightly. And that creates that um, shadow there. And then here we're going to go behind. So I'm going to go a little darker there. And you have to be careful because you don't want it to get muddy. using a dark blue because no matter what it hits it seems to um, create something all right so I think that's it for today thanks for joining me I hope you had fun um, feel free to start doing the other side if you'd like 
Um, or you can wait for me. I'll, I'll probably wait and do it with you. <laughs> so, thanks everybody. Remember, she's the freebie for this week on my website, dancedreamsandcolor.com. Bye.